if you are under the gun and you're about to have a, a, a behavioral interview, then I think first making a list of the projects that you have accomplished. And ideally you're keeping this list as you go through your career. And if you haven't done that, I would recommend that you start. Uh, the people call it a brag document. I like this, this phrase, yay me file. <laughs> yay me, I did this thing. I love that framing. Uh, so keep that up. So ideally you have a list of projects. Um, and then you need to choose a favorite one or one to talk about that's, that you think really demonstrates your, um, your abilities. And the advice I give people to choose this favorite project is you need one that is a sufficient scope. You need one where you were uh, uh, you know, heavily involved and you need one where you made a large impact. So uh, sometimes you're, for example, like you're heavily involved in making a one line change that had a big impact, but it wasn't a very sufficient scope. It wasn't a very, didn't just demonstrate a lot of actions. Uh, but if you were involved in a really big project that had a huge business impact, but you were kind of mildly involved, you built a couple of tasks, that may not be a good project. So choose this project where it's the intersection of these three different axes and prepare uh, a story. And we'll talk about this, I'm sure, but prepare a story that talks a little bit about the context of, of what's happening, talks a little bit, about, talks a lot about what actions you took talks about the results that you generated, and then have some kind of reflection of what you learned from this process.